start this thing off by encouraging a young man saying, look, my time is almost over. And the thing about death, amen, the thing about death, when you look this word death up, you'll find this word remember because death has a way of opening up our mind, remembering things that we don't remember while the person is living. And then the stories that was told this morning, I mean, you probably didn't remember those stories when mama was living, but after death comes, like, man, we remember those things that we didn't like those women then, but we can laugh about them now. Amen. Calls us, amen, to bring joy in our spirit because it calls us to sit around, even though we may be crying sometimes in the rouse, but yet still we find joy when we start telling about those stories about how mama whipped us and telling us that she loved us all at the same time. That must be something God put in every parent because every parent, amen, will whoop their children and tell them that they love them at the same time. I, I like this because Sister Robinson, amen, she came to church running. Amen. She came to church working. Amen. It's what she did. She wasn't up front, but she was always working in the back. And she was one, amen, that, that loved to be praised because she knew that we couldn't give her what God had planned for her. Amen. So this is not like that Paul is writing to Timothy. He said, look, Timothy, first of all, my time is almost up. I fought a good fight. So it's time to work, amen, for the Lord because she wasn't waiting on what Because to be absent from the body is what? To be present with the Lord. And we knew that day, amen, that when she went to meet the Lord, it hurt us on this side. But it's joy on the other side. Oh, may the word that God may it speak for me. So we look at this text, amen, and, and, and Paul is right this love. He's right this love. But then somewhere along the way, Paul gets excited. He says, he says, but wait a minute. She had raised her children. She had, had taught her grandchildren. The, the gift that God had given her, she was, she was admired. And then she admired how nature would come to her, her, her windows. She's seeing deer that she's seeing skunks. They may seeing the creation of God. And I know for a fact because we lived out there for two years. You didn't have to go far. You can stand in your door. Deer just walk right through your yard like they owned it. So it was a, it was a thing about nature that gave her To be absent from the Bible is to be present with the Lord to give her what? Peace of mind. She's with the one that created the deed. She created, she's with the one that even created the skunk with the black stripe. She resting in the bosom of the Lord. Paul writes and says, This fourth has laid up for me a crown of righteousness. Which the righteous judge, the Lord, shall give me when at that day. And all of us have a day. All of us have a day. It may not be today, it may not be tomorrow, but whatever happens will be that day. But I like to say, he'll give me at that day. But then he pauses here for, for a reason. He said, but not to me only. Children, husband, grandchildren, son-in-law, sisters, brothers. She says, not to me only, but unto all of them also who what? Love his appearance. She's inviting us to come where she is. She's inviting us, Nicky Robinson, to get our lives straight with God. Because one day all of us are going to have that day. All of us are going to be one who wants to sit with the Lord. We're not looking for the end times to come. We're living in the end times right now. But this virus got us out of the way. But guess what? The virus may have changed our life, but guess what? God still the same. Amen. So she would be well missed. To see her some Sundays when she was working, rushing in, taking her seat. And say, Pastor, I'm sorry, I, I'm at work. And I just simply tell the people about you know, the opposite of this. Amen. If you read the 
read the book of Isaiah in the book, it tells us, amen, that if your ox falls in the ditch, will you wait till Monday to get it up? And that tells her, baby, bills still do. I say, but some people not even working won't come. But to see her come on Sunday and take her seat. Never had a harsh word that I know of the, about anyone. I know how she was at BBC. We loved her. The young ladies admired her because she was quiet, but yet spoke very loud. What do you mean, Pastor? I'm going to say this and I'm done. How could she be quiet and speak very loud? Because she let her words speak for her. Anything we had or we asked her to do, she did. Now, she didn't talk back. I don't know about it at the house, dude. Now, now, now. I don't know about it at the house, but, but at the church. But I truly believe, amen, that, that even at the house, she, she would speak of peace and just go on about her business. Because she was that type of person. She didn't, she didn't try to, to be two-faced with anybody. She was straightforward. That's what we love about her. When you get out of whack and you ask her opinion, be careful with the answer because she's going to tell you her opinion. Will you bow with us, please? Father God, we thank you, Lord, for the life of my sister Sandra. Thank you, God, for allowing us the, the opportunity to be in her life as a pastor here in Wigan, Mississippi. We thank you, God, for the relationship that she had with her church family. The Lord will smile will forever be in her hearts and her minds. A present God will forever walk through these walls. And God, we pray, God, that there's more sandals that is willing to work in your vineyard. For your word declares that the harvest is plentiful, but the labor of few. Sometimes we don't understand why the good ones must go. But God, because your word declares that she's ready. And we pray, our Heavenly Father, that you will strengthen us, that we too, our God, will apply ourselves, that one day we will see you and be where you are. Be with Brother Larry, for there's a void now is in the house. There's a void within his heart. There's a void within his mind. Lord, for the many years that they've been together, they have become one. We pray, our Heavenly Father, that you will strengthen him when everybody else is going home to their several destination. We ask our Heavenly God to just be with him in the quiet hours of the night and the weary hours of the day. Revelate his mind, God, for no one knows how he's feeling about you. So we pray for him. We lift him up unto you, God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.
that I could learn from. And as a result, he said the opposite. Opposites attract. And I'm telling you now that all the years that we would stay together, I swore I would never leave her because she was the gift. The answer to my heart, to my prayer. Yes. Mama asked me when I came home from this coming home from the military, how long are you gonna lay up in here and do nothing? I told her, I put a prayer forth to God. First time I ever prayed. And that prayer was, God send me my means. Right. I tell my daughters all the time, pray that God sends you to me. And if you have to put a condition on it, to know that that's him, do it. God is going to respect our person just as long as you don't fleece him. Just make the request known and sit back and wait. Sure enough, after the third year, she came forth. Prayer stuff was answered. I refused to go here and there for other events and parties and stuff like that because I didn't want to get distracted, sidestep by, by, by the devil or anything like that. I said, God, I'm still waiting. So he did deliver her. One day, an invitation went forth to come out and see some people attend the party. And all of a sudden, I felt this is it. When I got there, when I got there and saw her, and I saw how modest she was, that was one of my conditions, and saw how quiet she was, that was the second condition. And saw that she had a beautiful smile. I didn't really put that one in there, but God knows, God knows. And ever since then, you have all been affected by her smile. And then that smile, it ministered. It ministered because I saw the effect from you guys. I can live with that guy. <laughs> and I would smile too. <laughs> That's ministry. And I thank God more because see God, he knew what I needed. I did. Yeah. So I give God the honor. This is not a time to really, in my mind, to celebrate her life, but it's a time to give God, thanks. He was a gift giver. She was the gift that gave over and over and over. Now I'm just looking for her to continue with that last and final gift giving to my daughters. Maybe they would pray and earnestly, seriously, make that prayer known to God. He will and be patient. I got in two families. I got one final thing to say, and that's two families. I was reading in 2 Peter concerning husbands and wives. The Bible said, respect them, honor them. Treat your husband, husband or your wife with honor and respect because that is the acknowledgement of the gift that God gave you in regard to the two of you. Opposites attract. Don't don't fight. I argued with Sandra a lot, but that was only because I was trying to make her more like me. <laughs> and I realized it took a while. I realized this is what God wanted. So I thank God for it. I give Him the honor and the glory. I praise His holy name for it. Thank you, Beth the Knights. Thank you. Captain Knights, thank you, Walmart Knights. <laughs> All of you guys for coming out. I know not every one of you came could come, but you that did come, you are representing those who wanted to come. So I thank you for that. God bless family. God bless his husbands and wives. Thank you. Give me a stand, please. Father God, we thank you for everything that we said, everything that we've done. We pray out of the Bible and the well and the spirit. Now, Lord, as we get ready to leave this place, but never be present, God will save you back.
to our seventh destination. Whether it's right across the street or whether it's the next state or next town, give us safe passage, Lord. And again, we lift the family up to you, our Lord. Strengthen them, our God. Be with them. Guide them and protect them. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, and amen. God bless you.